life has definitely changed since Wayfair was passed in 2018. Uh, a quick familiarity with that is uh, it was one, we'll say, where each of the states could then begin to collect uh, sales tax on sales that occurred within their state. It's not from zero or anything like that. There's some limits out there, uh, but nonetheless, uh, the states have won or they won back in 18 and the, I'm going to say enforcement activity has jumped up tremendously. So they're going after anybody that's selling in their state. <clears throat> and what happens with these states as they pursue these clients is uh, you know, you're shipping something to in the state and all of a sudden you get a notice from the state government that says, hey, you owe 100 grand or hey, you owe 50 grand or whatever. And you're thinking, how can this be? I don't have Nexus in what we used to think about Nexus. OK, that's all changed. Uh, I don't I, I don't have that much in sales. Well, all of a sudden they're going to levy your accounts if you don't react. Uh, I We saw a new client that we picked up, we saw him took $70,000 out of a PayPal account. Um, so understand that kind of thing can happen. Uh, and so when we see those notices, we need to react to them. And oftentimes the states don't have the necessary information to calculate the notice correctly. So all they do is send an estimate. It's not like they know the numbers of sales that you've had in the state. They just send an estimate. And if you don't react to that estimate, they're going to come after your money. So be aware that these states are really cracking down. And as you think about it, it's just another uh, avenue of revenue for them. Uh, so it's a way for them to increase their coffers. And they are very, very active in all of these areas. So be careful. 